Oh, welcome back everybody, this is always back with another video on the channel. I'm actually making this video in the response to one of the questions of God on my channel that how do we export 3D models from AutoCAD to 3D Studio Max for materials and rendering. First of all, AutoCAD is pretty limited for materials and rendering, so a lot of people use 3D Studio Max to make a photorealistic rendering. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, let's go back to the history for a bit. We used to export file from AutoCAD into a 3DS format. So if I go to AutoCAD menu, go to export, and then here we don't see 3DS files anymore. Even we go to the other formats, and in this window, I can see the files of types, and I don't see 3ds anymore. The reason why because AutoCAD and 3D Studio Max are both owned by Autodesk, the same company. Now I'm using AutoCAD 2017 and now we don't really have to export this model into 3ds file to open that in 3D Studio Max because 3D Studio Max can actually open this uh, DWG file by default so we don't really have to export anything. But one export uh, file I want to show you here, if we go to the export menu, here we have this FBX file. FBX file is pretty popular, pretty famous for exporting your 3D models uh, for different kind of software, such as that if you want to export this and you want to apply materials and you want to render your model in Blender. Blender is a free software and you can download and just install it and there's a lot of options for rendering and materials in Blender. So Blender is pretty great 3D software. You can do a photorealistic rendering in Blender. So if you want to use Blender instead of 3D Studio Max, I would highly recommend always export your 3D models into FBX file because FBX can be read by multiple softwares. If you're using other 3D softwares such as uh, Revit or you're using, uh, let's say, Sketch, which is by Google, which is made by Google, so you can use this FBX format, which is pretty open, and then people can just uh, open your 3D models into different softwares because this is supported by a lot of 3D modeling softwares. Now, first of all, let's just clean up. Now, if you want to export 3D model, you need to make sure that you don't export all these extra stuff, such as trees and cars and all this stuff, because you can use these objects into 3D Studio Max directly. So you can add plants and trees and cars and stuff like that into 3D Studio Max. So what we do, we'll just delete all of these trees because these are the mesh objects and these objects can make our file pretty heavy. Now I'm going to delete everything here. We need to use this uh, blue selection window to select this car that's deleted. Now we have some plants as well because in 3D Studio Max we are going to apply materials to plants in um, the, these plants. So these are this is like a two separate objects right so once we export them into 3d max the file gets really buggy and heavier so what we want to do we want to clean up our drawing let's just say delete all of these plants because already our file is pretty pretty heavy so it's a good idea to clean up your file and then import all these blocks into 3d max directly or in Blender because those softwares can handle these mesh objects pretty, pretty good compared to AutoCAD. Now let's just say I've got this 3D model ready to export. One more thing I just want to get rid of is I want to get rid of this camera because we are going to add another camera in 3D Studio Max. We don't need this camera anymore. Okay, so we got this done. Now we can save as this file. Let's just save as, I'm gonna save as to, let's just say desktop and I'll just say ready for 3D Max, okay? And now here you can see we have the file of types. Here we can select whatever we want. Just don't select the old file like AutoCAD 2000 model. There's no point to store this 3D model into AutoCAD 2000 model because I'm pretty sure no one's using AutoCAD 2000 
Tourism 17. So we just save that file in AutoCAD Tourism 13.dwg file. And then I will just save it. Once it's saved, I will go and open 3D Max and I'll show you how to open this. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is just open the file. And then we can go to my desktop and I'm going to find 3D Max 2017. If you're not using 2017, no worries. Uh, you can use whatever 3D Max, not older than 2010. I'm pretty sure it should work, but I'm not sure about all the software. So 3D Max 2017, I just downloaded it recently and it's pretty great. I'm just waiting for it to start and then I'll show you how to open this. I'll do a few more videos on how to apply materials and render in 3D Max 2017. Pretty latest software, right? So I'm just waiting for it to start. It's uh, blowing my computer so far. I get about like say 50 likes on this video. I will do a complete series of AutoCAD, Autodesk 3D Studio Max 2017, including modeling, applying material, and stuff like that. I've got another course on Udemy how to use this software. So now we just have to go to the 3D Max menu, simply click on open, and then we go to desktop where we save the file. And then here I'm going to change this to all files. And then I will find the file I saved ready for 3D Max. So just double click on that to open that file. And this is the option we need to pay attention to. Now for the geometry, leave that everything in default, right? It's going to just uh, auto smooth and all that stuff. Okay, so leave that everything in default. We need to go to the layers. Now here, there are probably a few layers that are 2D. We don't add them, right? So here there's two options on the top, skip all frozen layers, select from the list. So if I select that, I can select which of the layers I want to import. So if I select this 3D wall, and now by default it's actually everything is on so you can deselect everything, right? But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just skip all the frozen layers and spline rendering, these are the few advanced topics, we can't cover those in the video and here we have your options as well. Now on the left we can see all the blocks and layers and everything, we're going to zoom in and voila, there you go, we got the Turi Max, so that's how you can export and import, pretty simple right? I'll probably do a few videos about how to apply materials, rendering, and all that stuff. 3 Max is pretty great, and Blender. Blender is the best software for 3D. It's free, no bugs, no problems at all. So, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.